It is time now to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Wall Street Journal says the U.S. is widening its role in the war against Islamic militants in Mali. American drones are helping French forces locate and identify militants for attack by the French Air Force. The Washington Post says Secretary of State John Kerry has released $250 million in economic aid to Egypt. Kerry met for more than two hours yesterday with Egypt's Islamic president, Mohamed Morsi. New York's Daily News has an incredible story of death and life after a car crash. A pregnant woman and her husband were killed Sunday. They were in a car on the way to the hospital to give birth when another car hit them. Doctors saved the baby who is expected to survive. The search is on for the driver. Who hit the couple. The New York Times says the stock market may be thriving, but the unemployment rate remains stubbornly high. Companies face little pressure to raise salaries or add workers, despite gains in productivity. The result has been a boon to corporate profits. And USA Today says it's okay to exercise just before bedtime. Sleep experts say more exercise, even at the end of the day, is linked to better sleep.